So this is just a system of, of kind of high impact and a lot of food and a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of foraging for the animals and a lot of trampling and then a lot of rest. They won't come back here for anywhere from, and it depends on the seasons and it depends on the animals' nutrition requirements and stuff like that, but they won't be back here from anywhere from 30 to 60 days. Uh, and by then they'll have regrown and, and um, uh, really, in all, in all honesty, what I should do is, is actually tighten this up a little bit and get them to trample all that, that big brush. Because if you leave your fields, it doesn't take long before the grass turns into brush and then the brush turns into little trees and then little trees turn into big trees and then you've got a forest. Um, so it really helps, helps the pasture as well. There's a good relationship with the animals and with the grass that's growing and, and uh, because because the grass and whatnot can kind of handle this abuse and big forbs and all that poke and all that stuff really can't. Um, and then we, I think we're, we went back and forth on this. I think we're a little too small to do a cow-calf operation. So we just bring in steers, grow them out, beef them out. Um, we were breeding, uh, well we are breeding turkeys. We were breeding chickens for a while. They're, they're a little further up on the farm. Um, and then that's essentially what, what we do. And the, and the cows and the sheep, the cows are here, the sheep are in with them. Um, they, these two strands is, that's what makes me be able to do what we do. Uh, and the sheep were taught to this and the cattle as well. Cattle generally, you can go up one higher and you only need one, but for the sheep, these two do really well. A lot of folks told me that that wouldn't work, and it took some patience, but and and catching sheep and throwing them back over <laughs> the other side. But but it works. It, it works well. And then when you move them, when they always have fresh water and they've got the water up there and they've always got fresh grass, they, they really don't have a desire to escape or get on the other side of the fence. Yes. When you say you're a small operation, what is the total acreage of, of your combined? Lands that you have here. Um, probably total is maybe 35. Total is probably 55. For right here? No, no. No, this, no. Well, how much is this? Oh, for this here. here. This land is about 30. Okay. Uh, about 30 acres. And then your entire acres. operation, including your gardens, is the 55, yeah? Yeah, and I mean, that's just the property. I mean, yeah, that's not... Cultivation. I, mean, I was thinking production land, you know, what we have. You know, we have a... Uh, it's just curious whether it's a four acre or two acre field that's just up the road where we'll be doing the Ron Morris demo um, with the cover crops. You know? And we're hoping actually to get a bigger piece so we can actually do the, we want to show how to do the, use these techniques with machinery too. And we don't really have land that's big enough to do that with. So we want, we, we, we don't need to use machinery, but we know that that's where most of agriculture is and we want these techniques to be used by everybody. So we need that piece of land too. And by the way, I want to say for Rocco that, um, it's not all overgrown up with trees and stuff. Most of it, he's, he's just working this, this edge land here because he's got the animals to do it. He's got a whole lot of just gorgeous pasture too.